It was the night before Christmas. I was closing down for business in my little prison. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be cleaning my house and prepping for guests this holiday season. It is almost Thanksgiving and I'm so excited to get this video up for you guys so you can see how I clean my house and prep it for guests. We are gonna have some of my nieces staying with us over Thanksgiving and I'm gonna get our guest bedroom all ready and show you guys some tips on how to get your house nice and welcoming for your family and friends. So let's go ahead and get started in today's video. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend here on YouTube named Allie. She has an adorable little three-month-old little girl named Oakland and she does all kinds of mom lifestyle content just like mine so definitely go over to her channel and subscribe. I'm going to start out this video in the living room. I always like to take all of my throw blankets and put them in the wash. That way they're nice and clean for guests. And then I also like to lint roll our couch because we do have Colt who is a King Charles Cavalier and he does shed. So I always make sure to do that. So I went ahead and washed those. That way they could just get done by the end of the day. And then I had so much laundry to catch up on. So I'm just folding laundry and I actually did laundry all throughout the day as well. This all I need, and my taking Brooks's clothes into his closet. I usually fold them and then take them into his room and then hang them on hangers in there. It just seems to be easier, but I have kept up with keeping his closet pretty much organized and color coordinated. If you guys haven't seen my kids closet organization video, I will have it linked down below. But yeah, it's so much easier having like a clean space that's organized so I can just pick out exactly what he needs for the day and be done with it and not have to think too much about it. I got Brooks this little train set last year from Target after Christmas and somehow we lost one piece so I kind of have to maneuver it and get it to where all of the tracks fit together but he loves playing with his train in his room and this Rudolph is actually supposed to go outside but Brooks loved it so much so we brought it into his room and then I'm just picking up his bedroom and making his bed. Around Christmas time, I always like to make some homemade Chex Mix. My grandma and my mom always make it and it's so good. So I thought with guests coming in, it's the perfect time to whip up a batch of it. And it kind of takes a little while. It takes like 15 minutes and then you stir, 15 minutes stir. So I went ahead and started it now during the beginning of the day. That way I could just get it done towards the end of my cleaning video. But anyways, this is the main room that I wanted to focus on for guests coming in. It is our guest bedroom. It's pretty much a catch-all room. And as you can see, it's a disaster. I've got presents in there. I've got extra home decor, just kind of random stuff thrown in here. I also have all of Brooks's summer clothes in totes and like some extra home decor, pack and play stuff. I have my own sewing machine and Cricut in there. So I'm just going to clean this room up and make it to where the girls are comfortable staying in here and just make it a little more homey. was right there ready to help. He helped me carry the presents into the living room to wrap later. He loves being a part of it. After 
everything is out of the room, I'm just going to give everything a quick wipe down and I'm using this Pledge multi-surface spray. You can use it on wood, electronics, glass, pretty much anything so it's super nice that you can do your entire room with one product. So I'm just wiping off this desk. I'm going to leave this in here and this end table right here. I think this was actually a nightstand that was mine from years ago when I lived with my parents before I was married and everything. So this just goes into this catch-all room, so I don't clean it probably as often as I should, but I'm going to try to get better about keeping this room clean and organized because I hate having to close doors throughout my house because they just have like a bunch of junk in it or just like extra stuff. I don't know why we tend to accumulate so much stuff, but I really want to make this room presentable so I can have the door open and not have to worry about it. Snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas. A moment we'll fill with love. After I vacuumed, I just moved this desk over to the other wall and I'm adding a mirror over here. That way the girls can get ready in the morning if they need to and they've got somewhere to put on their makeup or whatever they need to do and there's more like natural lighting on this side of the room. So I'm just going to wipe it down with this pledge spray as well. I just think it's so neat that you can even use it on mirrors, literally anything. If this is not sponsored, this is just something that I use all the time. Shining just for you, let's take a walk And we can follow the moon Until we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream I also wanted to mention that all of this decor is from our master bedroom over the summer so I haven't bought anything this is just stuff that I've had laying around the house that I've used before I love doing this I always save my home decor because you never know what you might use it for in the future and I just love switching stuff around so often so it was fun to kind of make this room into an extra little cozy space with stuff I already had it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Let me give you a Christmas a moment we'll fill with love and joy. Love and it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. With you. With I don't you. need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. With you. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. With you. Once I got the room kind of how I wanted it, I took all of the bedding off to wash and as you can see there wasn't a bed skirt on the bed so I went ahead and somehow I had an extra one. I think it was from this bed whenever I had it before. This was my old bed before I was married so I found that, washed it, and I put this down. Somehow it actually wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And then I went ahead and took all of the bedding to the laundry room to give it a good wash. So here is the room so far. I just have a little basket of towels and stuff for the girls. We hung up the curtains last week and that is it. So not too bad. I'm now going to head into the master bathroom and give it a good cleaning. 
I like to clean my tub and my shower at least once a week, depending on how dirty it gets. So I'm just using my Method bathroom cleaner to wipe it out, and then I'm using Comet for the bottom. I usually use my Mrs. Meyer surface scrub, but I'm out of it, so I just grab this from Target. And then I'm heading over to the shower and wiping down the sides. And the bottom of our shower tends to get really dirty. So I put some Comet in there and scrubbed it out as well. And if you're wondering where my shower curtain is from, I got it from Walmart last year. It was super inexpensive and I think it adds a really nice Christmas touch. And if you guys haven't seen my entire home tour of my Christmas decorations, make sure you head over there. I will link that video down below. I love filming home decor videos for you guys. It's like my favorite thing to do on my channel. So I've got my clean and decorate for Christmas and my Christmas home tour video. So you guys should definitely check it out. I also do a lot of day in the life videos where I clean and cook and just do all kinds of homemaking stuff. I'm here with Brooks all the time. Um, I quit my job after I had him so I've kind of taken my home into my own hands and this has been my hobby and as well as YouTube. So I love sharing it with you guys and I appreciate you guys being here. After I got all the bathrooms cleaned, I had another load of laundry ready to be folded. This was Brooks's basket, and I never mind folding his clothes. I don't know what it is. Mine and Taylor's stuff, it's almost like a chore, but for Brooks, I really don't mind it as bad. Maybe because they're smaller and I can fold them quicker. I don't really know, but I got that done, and it was one less load to go. Shortly after, the guest bedroom sheets were out of the dryer and I put them onto the bed. It already feels so cozy and inviting in here. I love having fresh sheets. There's honestly nothing better and this is a tip. If you have guests over, make sure you wash your sheets and your bedding if nothing else. I also washed this comforter, so I'm putting it on the bed. Like I said, this one was from our master bedroom, so I already had it on hand and all of these decorations kind of flowed together. So I'm just folding it back and I put another blanket on underneath this comforter and then also one on the edge of the bed just in case they get cold. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. It's a lot later now and the Chex Mix is done and it tastes so good. Oh, there's nothing better. I love Chex Mix and an ice cold Coke, but I've given up soda for the most part. So I just drank it with water and it was still really good. But now I'm going to wrap some Christmas presents. All of our family from out of town celebrates Christmas on Thanksgiving so I wanted to make sure I had those wrapped and I wasn't like scrambling at the last minute to wrap them so I did this beforehand and I got most of my wrapping paper either from Target or I got one the Buffalo check red and white from TJ Maxx and the bags I think one was from Walmart last year and then the big one that I showed um, a second ago was from the Dollar Tree so make sure you check out those places for Wrapping supplies, don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money on this sort of thing because honestly, they just throw it away and I even will save a lot of my gift bags if I can. So just keep that in mind. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of Tomorrow it is Christmas. 
I love seeing all the presents under the tree. It's kind of the perfect touch to the Christmas decor, and I can't wait to give these out to our family and see the kiddos' faces. All right, it's a lot later now, but I am determined to get all of this done. So I am making some cake pops. I've never attempted making them before, but I was looking around on Pinterest and Brooks always loves to get cake pops whenever we go through Starbucks. So I thought this year I'm gonna take it on and make some reindeer and snowmen. This recipe was super easy. All I did was take a box of cake mix made it like it normally said on the package, let it cool, I flipped it over onto this cooling rack, and once it was completely cooled, I just took off the edges and I pulled out the inside part of the cake and just crumbled it up. And I did that to a majority of the cake. I definitely didn't do it to the whole thing. I wasn't too picky about it. I just kind of wanted to see you know, experiment with it, and I have another box of red velvet cake mix that I'm going to make some more cake pops with. I just haven't yet, so this was a trial run. After you have the cake all crumbled, you just want to add two spoonfuls of icing. I went ahead and got store-bought icing because I knew I would be crunched for time, and you just mix it all together until it's thoroughly you know, kind of mixed and it's starting to form little balls on its own. And then you just take the dough into, I would say about two inch um, sized dough balls and you, you just press them into your palm. You dip a, a stick into some chocolate that's melted and you stick it into the ball. And I learned this trick on Pinterest. I didn't know if it would work that well or not, but I just lined a plate with parchment paper and then once you get all of your um, cake pops ready, you will stick it into the freezer for 15 minutes and then you can decorate them as you'd like. So here is the final result. I didn't turn out as bad as I thought and I was really happy with it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to check out Allie's video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. There is so much Christmas content coming your way, and I'll see you in the next one. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so